What's good everyone, it's your boy Dak908 and today we're looking at some more week of insect late not insect late I did this say this last time week of hunting horn and this hunting horn right here the set it's a pretty it's a pretty nice one I'm, I'm not gonna lie I I enjoyed this set but then again I feel like I say that about every single hunting horn set or every single insect glaive set that I actually get a chance to use probably because they're a couple of weapons that no one likes to use and they're actually really really fun well I lie everyone uses the insect glaive no one uses the hunting horn they're both kind of fun the hunting horn is fun because you actually get the boost you know the stats the abilities and buffs whatever your friends and what have you and the insect glaive is kind of fun to use especially someone like me who's really rooted to the ground because i'm a lancer who didn't necessarily bother with other styles outside of striker so to jump frivolously through the air is kind of cool anyway regardless this hunting horn is actually really cool um the, the set the set is actually really fun i honestly will admit when I first saw the set, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make that because that's for mix sets. And I mean, it's only a mix set because I changed one particular piece of gear. That is the legs. But I was, I was curious. I just wanted to know what my man was going to go with this. But before we get into that real quick, let's just, let, let me say one thing. I have never had so much trouble trying to find a hunt to fight with this particular set right here. Because I mean, what, what do you fight Less water, but regardless. Anyway, here's the set. Shout out to the homie man, uh, Shadow Lord McGill. He was actually featured on, I think, Week of Sword and Shield as well. But uh, that was the set right here. He actually so told me, yo, Dag, run this joint right here. And you can actually use any hunting horn with one slot. And I was like, okay, cool. That, that's easy to do. Now, the only issue, however, was that I didn't necessarily have the talisman that he, that, uh, he requested. The talisman that you kind of need is sharp, not sharp, excuse me, handicraft four, two, or three slots, I believe. And I only had a handicraft three, two slots. So what I had to do, I had to actually get a three slot hunting horn and then gem in the rest of the handicraft in there, along with the other, other points for other things like mounting master and airborne and etc. Honestly, you could probably make this set more more better wow you can probably do a lot more with this set and have like a much better horn outside of the horn that i have right here which is the ketchup well ketchup clanga i believe and it's only because i was limited on the particular hunting horns that had three slots that were actually kind of good that i could actually use the abilities that was given to me on this set with but let's get into the skills of the set we are looking at sharpness plus two, which is something I never used sharpness plus two in this game because since they actually they nerfed sharpness and made it into sharpness plus one and two, once they did that, I completely just disregarded sharpness altogether because it's 15 points and it's the hardest pitch to get. So I never actually used it, but it's cool to see it used on a hunting horn. Uh, horn Maestro, Airborne, and Mounting Master. And it's an aerial style, mind you, with the harmonized 300 art. This is really cool. I've never used aerial hunting horn before, but aerial hunting horn is a lot of fun. My God, is a is a lot of fun. I mean, you can use you can do two notes in the air when hitting the monster. It's kind of like um, aerial hammer, well, not exactly like, but you know how aerial hammer or aerial switch axe, how when they do the their jumping attack, they they kind of swing twice or whatever. I'm pretty sure aerial longsword is the same thing, but it's kind of like that. You you get two hits, and that that's that's fun. I like it. And the entire time you're in the air, you can actually switch buttons. You can switch buttons so you can play different notes when you're in the air attacking, even though the attack itself will still be the same exact attack. So it'll be the standard, you know, over under swing, but you can technically get your your X and A or your A or your A or your A and X or whatever, you know what I mean? You can, you can mix and match the, the notes while still using the same exact attacks in the air. So that's cool. So what I would like to do... Uh, a lot honestly is actually like my then the ones where I need two of one note I would just do that in the air and then play the rest on the ground or I would do those two in the air jump again and Do the other two in the air and then come down and play the song I mean, it's really really cool. So shout out to my man for giving me this aerial hunting horn says it actually worked very very well with the mountain master and the airborne the airborne giving me more damage the mountain master make sure that I get on the monsters back and stay on there a little longer not a little longer but I get on the monsters back more often than not which is kind of cool so this is if anything a an attacking I'd like to say hunting horn set I mean yeah you, you're playing I want to say that the, the benefit of it is to play the notes when you're doing the mounting and then land and then play the song you know what I mean and that's about it like this this particular set you kind of don't really need to play it the standard way you in which you would play a hunting horn like you know fight the monster on the ground then play your notes and etc etc this one just play your notes while you hit the monster with the mounting in the air so good stuff bro good stuff good stuff shout outs but, um, yeah, the armor. So, the armor, it's kind of interesting. It is Hyper Devil Joe. 
So if you guys ever fought Hyper Devil Joe, his quest is the Voracious King. It's kind of a hard quest to actually do. Um, truth be told, it was kind of hard for me to get people to successfully complete the quest because, you know, like I said, it's kind of hard. But it's that's for everything minus the legs. The legs you're actually going to be using standard high rank Kush legs because it gives Handicraft 3 with one slot in it and the Hyper Devil Joe legs gave Handicraft 2 with no slots in it. Oh, with two slots in it or something like that or didn't get or something. There was a reason why. I was like, why didn't you use this? But I looked and I was like, okay, I, I, I see, I see. It, 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 was, it, was, it was cute. But, uh, yo, the, the, I mean, the set's not really much to look at. I mean, it looks just like Hyper Devil Joe. Um, the, the, the big draw to Hyper Devil Joe is the fact that it has, boy, it got some slots. This armor set has some serious slots in it, so that's where we took advantage of it because mo like every single one of these skills, minus sharpness plus two, was gemmed in. All of these skills. Horn Maestro was gemmed in, Airborne was gemmed in, uh, gemmed in, Mounting Master was gemmed in, it, it was all gemmed in, so I was able to do this only because of the, the large amount of slots you can you actually have with the set. So maybe if you know you don't want to use Airborne or Mounting Master, you want to use something else. I mean, th this particular set right here, if you're able to gem it in, fairly easy. You know where you do one gem and it um it it cost and that doesn't cost, but you use one gem, one slot rather, and it gives you two points into that skill. If you have a bunch of skills like that you want to actually gem in, this set actually do you really good with that. I mean, it's the, it's the same thing that goes with just this full set in general. It doesn't necessarily have to be the um this mix set that i'm giving you right here but the full hyper set you can do whatever you want with it as so long as you can jam it in so that's really cool it's it's neato if you will but my man's hit me with this set and i appreciate it because it's, it's kind of fun you know what i mean it's fun it makes me want to venture more into aerial hunting horn uh sets or just aerial hunting horn in general maybe make my own personal set of aerial hunting horn who knows and uh i, I probably i won't use this horn anymore this horn isn't actually a very good horn Truth be told, I mean, it's, it's all right. Like the combination that I kind of was using with it was I would play the, I don't think I did in this video too much, but I will play the, the health low song and then play the health high song and then kind of alternate between the two, make sure people had lots of health consistently because outside of those two songs, it had earplugs and bind resistance. Not very bad, but I mean, if bind resistance was switched out for like defense or attack, it'd be a top tier horn because they had two means of extra restoring health as opposed to giving you a health boost which is what a lot of other horns tend to have like it gives you 50 points to your maximum health as opposed to just healing you well it does heal you but it also gives you 50 points to your maximum health so I mean it's kind of wishy-washy because that song in order to play it again you must wait a considerable amount of time however with that being said um don't forget guys continue giving me your mix sets you know we are still doing the hunting horn and the insect glaive I don't know if there's any other hunting horn sets, or I, off the top of my head right now, I can't think. If there's any more hunting, hunting horn sets someone, people have actually recommended to me, or insect glaive sets that people have recommended to me. And if you have recommended to me those sets, and I haven't reached them yet, post in the comments section in this vi particular video, because as I make more of these week up videos, I have to go way back into like, like um, we're looking at like 15, 15, 20, almost 30, vi uh, week of sword and shield, great sword. Hunting Horn, Insect Glaive. We did another one, right? Sword and Shield, Great Sword. No, just just these four. Wait, I'm, I'm just, just... Yeah, just these four. I'm having to go through all three, four of these and find these sets. So if you guys remember that you had a set that you wanted me to use but I haven't used it yet, go ahead and drop it in the comment section. And I will surely get to it mad quick like because I, I want to play more... I want to play more Hunting Horn, and I don't really know what are good horns to actually go with. Well, not necessarily good horns, but good sets. So actually using this whole week of series as a jumping off platform to introduce myself, and maybe even many others, and they horn into Horning, Hunting Horn. I cannot talk today, guys. I apologize. Into Hunting Horn will be a boon for me. So that's what's up. Like uh, actually getting to use the aerial Hunting Horn in this, in this one right here is actually pretty fun. One style... I would say, uh, now I'm just rambling, I've been rambling for like the past 20 minutes now, but one style that I'm not very fond of for the Hunting Horn is the Adept. I mean, sure you get the Adept Dodge, and that's cool. The big the big thing I don't really like about the Adept Dodge though for the Horn is that you get a three-piece combo. You can actually roll out of the second attack of the combo, 
but the three piece combo is kind of all you get out of it. I mean, it's, it's not bad. You that combo, no matter what, is the same combo all day, every day. So, what you can technically do is you can actually, like you can with the air hunting horn, switch the buttons up as you please. But that's just that. Regardless, it's been your boy. You guys take care. I'm talking into the black now. So, see you on the next video. Peace.